What I love to do is give robbers, purse snatchers, pickpockets, and carjackers what they deserve. Most of the time that works, but I mean, come on! A minivan! Whoa! Oops! Roadkill. This convenience store, very inconvenient for him. It's gonna hurt him a lot. Sometimes you have to pick up a guy in a bar. If you're feeling lucky, punks, it's payback. What's up, everybody? My name is Boss Rutten, and this is Punk Payback. Each week, Boss Rutten screens security camera footage of punks committing crimes against people like you. And then he shows you how you can defend yourself with a little punk payback. As you can see from this surveillance video, it's another slow, wintry night in Michigan, the Wolverine State. But there are no superheroes at this convenience store, just this guy who has one hour left on his shift. And he plans on spending the next 59 minutes staring at the clock. But he's about to be in for a rude awakening. Watch as some punk comes running in carrying a big stick. He's gonna make a major mistake because he's gonna attack a guy with a short range weapon, which is a hammer, on close distance. Short range, you should have never lost this fight. It seems this bad guy was too busy thinking of the perfect disguise to buy the perfect weapon. He wears a hooded sweatshirt pulled tight over his face to conceal his identity. He wears gloves so he won't leave any fingerprints behind. And he's even tied plastic bags around his shoes. So that's why he slides throughout the whole scene constantly. But when the coast is clear, the helpless clerk locks the punk inside, calls the police, and waits for Michigan's finest to collect the garbage and haul this punk to the big house. Now it's time for me to show you people at home how I would have handled this particular situation. In this clip, the punk comes in with a long, long stick. Now let's talk about the bow. The bow is a stick in Japan that you fight with, and the perfect size for that is six shakos, which is about six feet, all right? The diameter is 1.25 inches. Anything above that is hard to control. One, two, three, four, five, six. Give me the money, man. Well, that's about eight or nine shakos right here. Okay, what can we do? I'm gonna show you right now. Give me the money, man. Ooh, <laughs> all right, all right, all right, time out, time out. Now, in the clip, we saw the guy defending himself with a short-range weapon. I would grab the hammer, and I would step back, and i say, move it, otherwise I'm gonna throw this thing against your head. All right, so that's what I would do. Now, check this out. I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna act like I'm attacking, and when I move forward, he's gonna strike. Once it's on its way, he can't redirect anymore. So it's very simple. I move forward, he strikes, and I move to the side. That's it. It's really that easy. Trust me. Don't worry about it. And I'll just pull as hard as you can, and if he comes in close range... If I had a hammer, go for the hands. Bonk on the hands, pop on the hands, and I may be bonka. And that problem is over. Let's see that in real speed. Action! Get touches. <laughs> hammer time! Pop, pop. <laughs> Yeah, yep, 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 I'm that good, I know. This guy really isn't the sharpest knife in the draw, right? I mean, come on, this guy jumping on a counter with slippery feet, not a smart thing to do. There's so much we can do from here. Just use the hammer, pong, or the kneecaps. Oh, that will hurt. Poof, the pills. I always go for the pills. You can do that too. What about a little push and hold his feet so he falls on his head? Nah, this guy seems like a nice young man. I think I simply hold the stick and push his knees. Whoa, whoa. In the clip, you saw the guy jumping over the counter. He came to my side. He took his long-range weapon over to the guy with the short-range weapon. I'm not even gonna use this. Way too dangerous. He wants to focus, he wants this thing back, so let it pull. Pull, pull, all you want it, boom! You give it back, boom! Maybe twice, dong, dong, ding, dong. 
The local bar is a great place to hang out with your buddies, but it's also a breeding ground for punks and lowlifes looking for trouble. Luckily, our man Boss is here to teach you how to defend yourself when one of these punks gets loaded on Liquid Courage. Headbutts. You getting all ready to see? I got a big grin on my face. I love headbutts. And why? Because they're so effective and they're so intimidating. If you do a headbutt as a bouncer, all the people that are watching, they're not gonna mess with you anymore because you're gonna go, this guy is crazy. Now, where to strike with the headbutt? This is very important. Your brain is protected by a thick skull. All right, now the thick skull you're gonna use. Now let's call somebody in and see where we strike. Preferably you wanna go straight on the nose or on the face. Watch out for the teeth, they might get inside your skin. And you take the teeth out, no problem. He goes down, that's the most important thing. They work everywhere as long as you make sure you don't load up and then he leans over. <laughs> Boom! My mother always told me, use your head. And I do it, mom, see? Maybe she meant something different. Coming up on Punk Payback, a college security camera catches an innocent co-ed living out her worst nightmare. Look around. Make sure that you see everything because this is a bad situation. Then Boss tells you what to do if a couple of punks stuff you in your own trunk. Unfortunately, assaults on young females on college campuses are all too common in this country. In fact, one in four women will be sexually assaulted during their academic career. The next terrifying clip is a scene out of every slasher movie ever made. A small college in South Florida is shrouded in darkness, and this bleary-eyed young co-ed walks back to her dorm after an exhausting date with the library. As she worries about her upcoming midterm, she lets her guard down and becomes unaware of her surroundings. Situational awareness. Remember that word? It's very important. Watch as she walks down this empty corridor all by herself. A hooded punk appears out of nowhere and stalks his victim. And she's just found herself in a very bad situation. So pay attention, ladies, as Boss demonstrates the best way to defend yourself if you were in this situation. This clip was very, very scary. I mean, when the guy dragged the girl behind the corner, a lot of things could have happened to her. Bad things could have happened to her. Just like the bad things that are gonna happen to this particular dude right now. <laughs> All right, we're here. First of all, if you're a girl and in this situation, scream, make noise, be loud, start moving around, start stomping. As much problems as you can make for this guy, the better. Now, that doesn't work. You faint. You faint and you just drop limp. Now, me, that's a different story. If this guy comes, I'm, I'm praying for moments like this. You know, teach the bad guy a lesson. Love it. Now we're in this situation. The two things that can happen. He can lift you up. Once he tries to lift you up, it's like, whoop, lock that leg. There's nothing he can do right now. I got total control. All right, but you want to break this grip. This is the most important thing. Now, since I love the environment, I told you before, I'm an environmentalist, and I see this beautiful wall right there, I figure, hey, wait a minute. I can throw this guy into the wall. First of all, I'm going to break the grip. Now, since his right hand is underneath, see? I'm going to break it like this. Right hand on the wrist. I'm going to stretch this and I'm going to push down. This arm goes around here. I'm going to grab underneath my own wrist. Look, I push, grab my own wrist. Now I'm going to make a big swing, one, and boom, into the wall. This thing works guaranteed. Let's see that in real speed. Action. Whoa, whoa. That's what you do with trash. Of course, there's more things we can do. There's a whole platter of variety package that we can do. Now, are there more ways to break a grip? Yes, there are more ways, but we focus right now on this particular way, all right? Same thing here, push, but now it's important to grab the inside of his hand. This is the most important. If I don't do this, he can twist his arm, and he might get out. Now, I grab the inside hand together with this lock. It's very hard for him to do anything. I control his whole arm. Pretty much any arm bar I make, I do with hand control nowadays. Now watch, I'm gonna let go. 
good grip now with two hands. Squeeze and bring it here and keep it here high. With the other hand, I'm gonna grab here underneath this collar and I hold him down with. Total control, really, trust me. And now just knee the face. He's asking for it, right? Boom, boom. However you decide how many, because you can't hold him up, remember that, right? Even when he's out, you simply hold him up until you let him go and he drops. We're buddies in real life. Let's see how this situation would look in real time. Now it's time for gym tips with Boss, an everyday